Okay, so I get asked this question a lot. How do you safely discharge a CRT? And if you're new to this, I know this is gonna seem overkill, but this is a high voltage probe. So what this will do is this will discharge it very clean, easy, very safe, and it's gonna show you the charge actually being removed from the CRT with this type of a device. Some people will use a screwdriver with a wire wrapped around it and an alligator clip. That's fine, you're gonna get this loud snap noise. I prefer this, it feels safer to me. It is actually a lot safer. And for someone that's brand new to it, it's not a scary experience. And you can feel 100% confident if you discharge it with this, that it is actually discharged. For me, it's safety first. Some make fun of me for it, but it is what it is, that's how I feel. So here's a running game. I wanna show you that the game is running so you can see the CRT's on. You never obviously want to discharge a game until it's all properly powered down. So step one is going to be to power down the machine. So I'm just going to unplug it. So here's the plug for it. It's It's got an extension cord on it. And now the game is completely unplugged. You need to make sure the game is completely off and unplugged from the wall. Step two is going to be you're going to take your discharge tool. You're going to want to put one end of it to the, the metal part of the monitor chassis, okay? Now this is the important part. You don't want your hands at all to touch anything metal. If you want to be super safe, you can put your hand in your back pocket to avoid touching anything. I'm not going to do that here. I know, know enough not to touch anything. That cap right there is the anode. That's where the flyback connects to the CRT. And we wanna discharge that by taking the tip of this and putting it underneath that anode. So you're gonna see, watch carefully the meter, cause you're gonna see the CRT discharge from the meter when I do this. So I'm gonna gently put it under the anode. And when I get closer to it, you're gonna quickly see the power dissipate. Sometimes to be safe, I'll remove it from the cap. Quickly do it one more time. There was a little bit more juice. I'll usually do it like two to three times. Put it back in one more time. I'm not getting anything now, no reading whatsoever. Now I can safely say that this CRT is discharged at this point. So you can feel free to unscrew it from the mounts, pull it out. If you happen to touch the anode cap or anything like that, you're totally safe. Now, if you were gonna do work on the monitor chassis, which is this part right here, you could safely remove the anode cap, remove the neck board. So just feel free right now to do whatever you want with it. You're discharged, Sarge. You're discharged, Sarge. Keep it unplugged, do the work you need to do to the monitor, the monitor chassis, put it back in, and you're good to go. So I will have a link in the description of this tool. I don't get paid any money for this. This isn't an affiliate link. I just feel like this tool right here, the BK HV 44A, is an easy tool to use. It's safe. It's definitely something you're gonna to wanna to have in your tool bag if you get into arcade collecting. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Put in your comments below. This isn't a scary thing. It used to be. There's a video out there where I have oven mitts on. I'm like practically in a, <laughs> in a full body suit because I was so scared. I used to wear these big rubber gloves. So hey, is this unnecessary? Because I feel like I just want to wear it just because it makes me feel better. <laughs> I know it's an oven mitt and it doesn't do anything, but just, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to stop any electrical. Okay. <laughs> but so if, it made me, if it made me feel better, you're okay. It's fine. Like it's not, it's not going right. to, it's not necessary, especially if you use something like this. The only thing to remember is do not touch anything metal. Put your hand in your back pocket. If you think you're going to forget, that's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and we will see you on the next one.